A so-called rare planetary alignment in January 2025 has made waves across news outlets and social media. Headlines like a rare view of the six planets aligning or almost all planets aligned in the night sky promises a celestial spectacle that almost seems too good to be true. What's the deal here? Let's dive in and uncover the truth and let me tell you why it is still worth heading outside to look at the night sky this winter. I'm Rita Oerlemans, I'm an astrophotographer and welcome to my channel. Social media has pointed to January 25th as the night to watch. But in reality, these planets have been shining bright for quite a while now and most planets will remain visible well beyond January. So, where exactly can you spot all these planets and what can you expect? Well, let me show you some videos I captured last night from my rooftop in the Netherlands in the final week of January under a partly cloudy and light polluted city sky. If I can spot the planets under these conditions, so can you. Here we go! After sunset, I first looked towards the southwest where I found Venus, the unmistakable evening star, shining brightly in the evening sky. Below it, after looking carefully, I found Saturn as a dim yellowish dot. It's a simple but beautiful pair to kick off your planetary hunt. You need a large telescope to spot Saturn's rings. Here's a picture I took with my telescope in September when Saturn was much closer to Earth and higher in the night sky. Next, I shifted my gaze a bit higher towards the south and I easily encountered Jupiter shining brightly in the night sky. Jupiter rivals Venus in brightness. If you zoom in on Jupiter with a modest telescope or even with a good camera, you can catch up to four of its Galilean moons as tiny bright dots that orbit the gas giant. Here's my telescope view of Jupiter. And here's a little bonus. If you look carefully towards the right of Jupiter, you'll find the iconic star cluster known as the Pleiades or the Seven Sisters. This star cluster is visible with the naked eye as a tiny glittering group of stars. I also captured the Pleiades with my telescope and here's what they look like after taking several hours of photos. M45 is a bright, open star cluster and home to hot, young blue stars surrounded by a faint reflection nebula. Towards the left of Jupiter in the southeastern sky, I found the famous constellation Orion. Orion is a treasure trove of celestial wonders such as the fiery red supergiant Betelgeuse in Orion's shoulder. Below the three bright stars in the middle known as Orion's belt, you'll find Orion's sword home to the famous Orion Nebula, or M42, a dazzling stellar nursery visible with the naked eye where new stars are being born. This nebula is a favorite among astrophotographers and here's one of my close-up images. Finally, I spotted Mars rising in the southeastern evening sky. The red planet, with its distinct rusty glow, is clearly visible as it is still close to Earth in the next month. While it appears as a small dot to the naked eye, the telescope with a long focal length can reveal surface details like polar ice caps and dusty plains. So what about Uranus, Neptune and Pluto? These distant worlds are too far away to be seen with the naked eye and even with a large backyard telescope they only appear as tiny dots. If you're interested in planetary imaging with a large telescope, you can find links to my other videos and blogs about planetary imaging in the description. Is this planetary parade a once in a lifetime event? Not exactly. But it's still a great chance to experience the winter sky filled with planets, star clusters and beautiful winter constellations. Even in a light polluted city, you can spot the brightest objects without any special gear. To make it easier, download a free app like Stellarium and it will show you where to find Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars and more in the night sky. So grab a warm jacket, head outside and enjoy the winter sky. I'm Wiedo Ullemans, clear skies.